Hello students. Today I am going to describe before you one of the famous poem written by William Shakespeare, the giant writer, the great writer, the great dramatist, and a great human being. Shakespeare was such a writer who delved deep into human heart, and like Tulsi Das, he could understand the servant, the king, the lovers. the goblins the ghosts and all natural supernatural metaphysical all types of feelings you get in the writing of shakespeare today's video is for class 7 cbse and the title of the poem that i am going to describe is friends and flatterers friends and flatterers friends do you have best friend or some friends do you always flatter them or do you highlight some thing that is not good with your friend do you suggest to your friend about party wearings about discipline in life or about the well being or being a human being or you just flatter and butter them what do you think should we stop our friends if he is leading a wrong path poem is all about it the difference between friend and flat flatterers you have to discover from this poem then the listening and watching this video will be very useful for you especially for class 7 students and those who love to enjoy poems let me recite the lines of this poem for you <clears throat> everyone that flatters thee is no friend in misery so thee and misery is rhyming here words are easy like the wind faithful friends are hard to find so here wind and find they have, they are rhyming so a a b b will be the rhyming scheme of the poem every man will be thy friend whilst old form of while whilst do old form of you whilst do hast wherewith to spend but if a store of crowns be scant no man shall supply thy want true friends are rare and if everything is going nice in your life they are walking shoulder to shoulder to you but if your life will scant have the scant look quaint look means if bad luck approaches in your day to day life will they stay with you if that one be prodigal prodigal is the word that shows extravaganza if you are spending too much money or too much energy on your friends if that one be prodigal bountiful they will him call and with such like flattering pity but he were a king they could say that you are the king and you are worthy to be a king if you gone being prodigal gone spending money but if fortune once be frown if fortunes once be frown means if once luck will be angry and turn turtle then farewell his great renown they that frowned on him before use his company no more and the hangers on so called friends will vanish when you have that type of fortune or days before you all the friends will disappear when you have bad days to pass once i remind you we are discussing about friends and flatterers written by william shakespeare he that is thy friend indeed he will help thee in thy need if thou sorrow he will weep if thou wake he cannot sleep 
two true friends are like this the body and the soul together if one will be unhappy another can't be happy thus of every grief in heart he with the doth be a, a part these are certain signs to know faithful friends and flattering for so some signs here are presented by william shakespeare so that you can easily recognize what is the difference between a flatterer and a foe and flatterers are actually not the friends but they are your foe f o e that means enemy further lines are suggesting that what is the difference between a friend and a flatterer so everyone must have this specs this view to demarcate between the real friendship and flattering when somebody flatters don't puff when somebody pricks you thorn then don't be punctured i mean to say that be balanced and try to judge the person around you and william shakespeare has tried to show that how to behave when friends and flatterers are near about you flatterers and friends it is very hard to sometime it is you will find it is very hard to bifurcate between them but flatterers when the time of danger when the time of test when the time of acid test in your life comes agni pariksha in hindi when acid test time comes in your life that time real friends and flatterers are easily recognized this was the gist of the poem thank you